Oh, that hurt my knee. I'm not doing that. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Chip here with Main Street Mower, and behind me, I got the 2000 series and the 4000 series. This is the recently updated, renovated 2023 model, and we're gonna go over some of its features and some of its competitive advantages, and we're gonna talk a little bit about some of these things. So the question is, why should I buy a 2000 or why should I buy a 4,000? And which one's for me? What type of customer am I? And what's the difference between them? We're gonna get into that today, stay tuned. There's a lot of features here that I wanna get right. I wanna make sure I'm specific. So I'm gonna pick up my notepad here. Don't hold it against me. First things first, who is this machine for? And this is really, you're kind of entry level commercial guy. Maybe somebody who's starting out, he wants a commercial machine, but he doesn't want to put in the big investment of a 6,000 series or a 5,000 series, that you know high price tag, $18,000 or whatever, but wants to get in the game, wants to look professional, but also wants some professional quality gear that's gonna hold up and let you get invested in the game, build up a client base, and then decide, do I want a more heavy duty, more commercial machine? But is this machine commercial heavy duty? Absolutely, and Toro backs that with its commercial warranty of four years, 1,000 hours. That's a really generous warranty, especially if you're like a homeowner with acreage, a 20 acre lot, 40 acre lot, and you're looking for something commercial, but you don't necessarily want or need to spend the super high price tag, this is not a bad option for you, and this is gonna be plenty heavy duty for anything you could possibly throw at it. Guys, this is an all new deck that Toro came out with. It's still a Turbo Force deck, it still operates, it still has the extremely great cut quality that we're used to and expect from a Toro, but the old 2000 series had a mix thinner top than it did the sides, and the new 2000 series, they just gave it the full seven gauge deck. Seven gauge on top, seven gauge on sides, and they reinforced the bull nose, they made it longer, and they added some really cool features here. Instead of a sticker, they added a nice just styling plate where it shows your deck size, it won't fall off, won't peel off. I think that's some great styling. Beefy, intimidating, I like the color design. If this is on your trailer and you show up at a property and you tell them a price, this is definitely gonna set you apart. It's gonna make you look professional. It's gonna make you feel professional. In Florida, we have these interesting spiders called crab spiders. We're gonna put a picture up. It kinda looks like a crab spider, which I think is one of the coolest spiders in the world. Oh, come on. So four year, 1,000 hour warranty, seven gauge deck. Has the same I-beam construction as we're starting to see on the Toro's new lineup. We see it on the 4,000 series, we're seeing it on the 2,000 series. It definitely looks strong, it feels strong. It's a beefy design. They say it's much stronger than the old style. It has a seven gallon fuel tank. Seven gallons, that's a lot of gas. They have a deluxe suspension seat. Same seat you see on the 4,000 and even the 5,000, 6,000, it has the same seat has Hydrogear 3400s. Hydrogear has been making great pumps for a long time. They're used on many brands, and Toro has been incorporating them lately on some of their more affordable models like the 2000 series. They're an integrated wheel motor pump, and they work fantastic, and these are 3400s on here. On the rear, you'll see a two inch bumper hitch. So you can put a two inch receiver in there. It's made or rated for 80 pounds of tongue pressure, and it can tow up to 250 pounds. So you could put a little trailer on it, haul it around your yard, put a bunch of debris in there, and use this thing multi-purpose. Can it hold more? I don't know, probably. But what it's rated for is 80 pounds of ball pressure and 250 pounds of dragging weight. They all come with 24 inch tires. The width does vary depending on the model. This particular one is the 60 inch and it comes with 24 12 12s. 2000 series mowers all start around the $9,000 mark and up. $9,000, that's kind of the price we were used to a few years ago on like a 3000 series. And you know, everything's gone up, 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 up on every mower out there in the world. And I appreciate that Toro has created a model, a reasonably priced machine. It's something a commercial guy could buy and not be afraid of being hung out in the rain that their machine will fail them because Toro's gonna back it with that nice commercial warranty. So the question is, if the 2000 series is so good, why would I ever buy a 4000 series? Because the difference between these two is roughly around $2,500. If you're a commercial guy, $2,500 is a lot. I mean, that, that means a lot. Do I get my added value for my $2,500? And that is the question we're gonna answer today. So let's go over some of the 4000 series differences. I'm calling these the cons of the 2000 series, but really it's the differences between them and see if that $2,500 in value is there. With the 4000 series, you get a hydro reservoir. Basically, I'm able to see how much hydro fluid is in my hydraulics. I'm able to change it easier. And that is a feature of the 4000 series that I really appreciate that is not included on the 2000 series. So it's slightly harder to service the hydraulic system on this, which will mean a little bit more labor and could mean a little more expensive hydraulic changes. There are no armrests 
on this versus there are armrests on this. The 4000 series all come standard with armrests, which is a nice feature. You're sitting there waiting for the next job. You can put your arms up. You can rest your arms as you're driving around. That is a beautiful, nice feature. It is an option for the 2000 series. If you feel inside of the frame, you can feel some bolt holes underneath there and you can upgrade and add armrests to your 2000 series, but it is an additional piece. 4000 series has upgraded larger hydraulics. These are 4400s and some models have 5400s and those are much bigger, heavier duty, higher volume pumps versus the 3400s. 3400s are something you see on smaller units, but they're still a high quality pump. We have great luck with them. They last a long time, but 4400s and 5400s are going to be a more commercial hydraulic system. 4000 series has a larger fuel tank. It can hold three gallons more fuel. You don't have to worry about finishing that field. You're gonna have more fuel in the tank. You're gonna be able to keep going. Another advantage of the 4000 is it has nine inch spindle housings versus eight inch spindle housings. And I did ask Toro, is the rest of the components the same? Is the shaft the same? Is the spindle bearings the same? And they are the same, but nine inches diameter versus eight inch diameter does mean greater heat displacement and they have a greater surface area on your deck. So they're a little more rugged if you were to hit say a log piece of rebar, whatever, it might not damage your deck as badly as an eight inch. But they're still a high quality spindle on the 2000 series. Uh, it still has the same bearings as the 4000 series, still has the same spindle shaft as the 4000 series, but the 4000 series has a little bit bigger and better housing. The 4000 series is a mile per hour faster, so you got 11 miles per hour versus 10 miles per hour. Might not seem like a lot, but over time, over long areas, that adds up. Time is money, right? The 4000 series has a greater warranty. This machine behind me has a five year, 1250 hour warranty. And if you get the HDX model, it has a 1500 hour warranty. This particular one has a five year, 1250 hour warranty. The first two years are unlimited. There is not a two year unlimited warranty on this, I don't believe, and it's only 1000 hours, four years. So if you're a commercial guy, you get an extra year and an extra 250 hours. That's pretty valuable. As far as engine differences, the 4000 series has a lot of horsepower options. They're all in the Kawasaki class. There are a couple Kohlers on the smaller horsepower scale, but the bigger horsepower ones are big block Cowies. 31 horse, I think it goes all the way up to 38 horse. On the 2000 series, you have Toro engines around 24.5 horse. You have some Kawasaki 23.5 horse, and you do have a Vanguard 28 horse on their HDX 2000 series, and that's gonna have a little bit bigger engine option for you. In general, they have less horsepower on the 2000 series than they do the 4000 series. So if high volume wet grass down in Florida, mowing commercially, you need to mow quickly, 4000 series probably gonna be better suited for you than the 2000 series. But the 2000 series, you do save a lot of money and you just go a little slower, it'll probably get the job done just as well. Guys, both of the 2000 series and 4000 series come with suspension platform models like the MyRide. They have a 2000 series MyRide. They have a 4000 series MyRide. So if comfort is important to you, there are MyRide options on both. At the end of the day, guys, there is around a $2,500 difference between the two. If you're looking to stay within a particular budget and you really need to stay in that $9,000 to $9,500 mark, the 2000 series is a fantastic option for you guys. If you're just starting off as a landscaper and you want to stay in that $250-ish uh, dollars per month finance plan, this is a great machine. But if you've been mowing for a while and you're a commercial guy and you're used to a 3000 series or a 5000 series or a 6000 series and you're looking for something heavy duty that's gonna cut wet grass and do a really good job of that high volume output, it is hard to beat the 4000 series. It is built more commercial. It does have larger fuel tank, does have faster ground speeds, larger engine options, all those kind of things. But as far as build quality in general, the 2000 series is still a great machine. It's a great product for the price. It's gonna be hard to beat. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I hope this is helpful in your buying decision. We really appreciate you. I, I couldn't do this channel without you. We love you guys. Check out these two videos of the 4000 series versus the Hustler and the 4000 series versus the Skag with V-Ride. Guys, I think these two videos would be a perfect video to watch after the one you just watched now. We test all kinds of things, ride comfort, mowing and heavy grass, all these types of things. And just click on your left or on your right and it'll take you straight to it. Thank you for watching.